Okay, for the purposes of this demonstration, I've got an IC7300 set on FM currently on 10 meters. Selected 10 meters because that's the only pair of slugs I've got that will overlap, being it that one and that one. Both of the birth through lines have got peak envelope power meeting, meter readings, but only one of them has a power lead, so it's only one I can run on PEP mode. Although it's currently PEP mode switched off. And into a, a large bird, 250 watt dummy load. Okay, so, if I transmit, full power on the radio on FM. Smidgen over 100 watts. Can be seen on both. And switching the bird onto PEP mode. Obviously, because it's FM, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, so far. So it's going to pause the video. Okay, so I've put the rig into SSB mode. And as you can see, if I whistle up the radio or talk close to the microphone, I currently get no more than 50% ALC. Hello. Might gain at 56%. Currently, compression is off. So let's have a look at the meters. Okay, so... Both meters with PEP off and uh, if I whistle it up, they read about 80 watts ish. If I switch peak envelope power on on the first bird, as you can see while I'm speaking, the uh, power meter is reading around about 100 watts, just a smidgen less. Obviously the other one, which isn't a peak reading bird meter, or or at least it isn't at the moment, because there's no power on it. There you go. Shows how important it is that you're, you do have a peak reading bird meter. One, two, one, two. Okay, so let's look at this one. One, two, one, two. I'm still took about an inch away from the microphone. And one two one two testing one two three so I'm getting somewhere around about you know, fifty or sixty watts on average, and uh, peaks on speech peaks it might go up to about eighty or ninety. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the radio, switch compression on. As you can see, it's only set to three, and you see while I'm speaking now the ALC meter is jumping up to about seventy five percent. Okay, as we go back to the watt meter now and you can see the peak power is a little bit over 100 watts as it was on FM but as I'm speaking you can see now I've got a much much higher average power level okay one two three four five and even on the other meter one two three four five it's still reading a little bit higher like 25 watts or 30 watts ish <whistles> more if I whistle obviously but there you go so um it just shows the importance of why you need a peak reading power meter. And as you can see, my IC7300 is reading at around about 100, 105 watts. Now considering it's calibra when they calibrate the radios and set them up, they set them up at just over 100 watts. I think that's um, pretty much spot on really. As I say, I did check calibration of the meters first, so um, I ran them all on FM and calibrated check that one against that one against that one there and they were all reading the same power so I'm pretty safe that they're okay um, every now and then I do check um, although my my power meter is a little bit old it's still quite accurate and it's built into that device there and as you can see it's uh, yeah not too shabby so I, I, che I check on that at least twice a year and make sure that the uh, the bird meters I'm checking against are reasonably accurate and uh, and they seem to be. So there we go. G1MHU.